Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. Today in this video, I will show you a small utility which can help you in migrating your SQL Server database to Postgre in very easy steps. Uh, my previous video has a lot of SQL steps, so I just try to reduce them so that it can help you uh, to make it far more automatic than instead of just manually doing and debugging it. So to use this utility, uh, just first you have to go to the configure section. So in the configure section, first you have to tell where is the migration location, the temporary path where the scripts and everything need to be generated. So you can browse it or you can just copy paste the path which you want. And then you need to have your SQL Server login credentials. You have to test the connection and the similar way you need to have a post gray login credentials. So once both the things are done, you just need to click on save and then go to the source migration. Now source migration is very easy. So now what you have to do is you have to just select your database, which from the SQL server, select all the tables and deselect the one which you don't want. The, this is important because a lot of times we might have a lot of temporary tables. So if you don't want those table to be there, you just remove them from the list. Once this is done, just click on start and now just wait for a few seconds. Once it says like index, uh, you can say foreign key patch will complete. Then you just have to go into that folder. It, it will be creating a folder for all the air uh, like with these files. So the first thing is you need to generate the data. So you just double click on this BCP and this will start working and start getting data into this data folder for from each and every table. The reason why I haven't automated this, the reason for that is like so that uh, because the script might contain a small changes which require your manual input. So instead of just automating that, uh, so better to do it uh, like you can say a step by step. So now as we, our data got, you can say generated into this folder. Now we are good to go. Now we just need to open this script into our notepad. So we'll start with the first script, let's say, which is this one. So what we'll do is first we'll go to the post grid. We'll create a database. Let's say a new database, North Wind, North Wind new and click on save. I will just open a query window so that we can start doing it. So the first thing is schema creation. I will just run it and it will create all the schemas what I need. And if to do that, I can just see what are the schemas over there in my Northwind. And then going to the second one, second one is just simple. It's the table patch, all the table need to be created. Now here it will fail. The reason for that is in my table names, I was having one table with a space within it. So here, let me just remove one thing. I have duplicate tables. Okay, so it has a space within it. So I need to remove this space. So either I do need to remove it or I need to double quotation it. So whatever I want to do, so it should be done manually. The reason for that is if I do the automatic thing, a lot of time people struggles, you can say in uh, properly, you can say consuming that one. Uh, what happens, like I did the automation thing, but it didn't went well because in post the problem is if any object you create with double quotes, then even in the select query, you have to use double quotes. So it's better to solve that manually. So as we have done it, I will just execute. Now here you see all the tables got created. Now the second script is copying all the data. Again, the space table will be there. So as we have fixed it here, we'll fix it there as well. Let's just remove this one details and we'll have space. And okay, let us just run it. It will let it fail somewhere and we'll figure it out. Yeah, here. So now if I, I, as I fixed it, now if I run, it will copy all my data into all the tables. Next step is creating the constraints. Similar way, I just need to fix my dead double quotes thing here as well. So this is something which uh, that's why the reason for doing this manually so that we should not have anything uh, automatically done, which it should not be doing it. Okay, multiple primary key, I think categories table. Uh, okay, I think it automatic. Okay, let me just remove this one. Let's see. Oh, it I think created it already. Yeah, it already created it. Then the last one is index command. So there was no index, so it's okay. There is no index there. And then we have the foreign keys. Again, the foreign keys will be the same. I just need to copy it, I think. 
and we'll run our program. So everything is done. So if you see now in your database, you will have all the tables with all the keys and all the data into them. So give an example, let's say we'll go to the categories. You have all the categories. We have all the orders. So I will be constantly updating this software so if you have any questions, so if, because there are a lot of changes still need to be done, so I will be keep on updating. If you need this software, you can just uh, put your email ID in the contact or you can just click on this. Uh, you can say you can uh, send me a mail on contact at textify.net. Uh, if you uh, once I shared this software with you, if you need any support, you can just click on them and the phone number and the email ID will be copied and then you can just contact me uh, with any means. Uh, thank you. If there is any question, please let me know. Uh, please put your comments in the comment section so that I can share you this uh, software. Thank you. Bye-bye.